the Brandon Ayuk uh, 49ers saga, we'll say, is getting even worse. So, John, we're reading a tweet from Matt Macasio um, from NBC, it looks like. So, this is what the tweet says. John Lynch said that the 49ers are actively talking with Brandon Ayuk, and there has been no trade discussions. All those reports are not accurate. Lynch said he said the team would be okay with Ayuk playing on the fifth year option. So this is from John Lynch. This is what John Lynch said. Uh, obviously, we're reading a, a, a tweet from a report, but it's citing John Lynch. So after that, Brandon Ayuk posted a pretty interesting story, which has it was an Instagram story that says it was all in emojis, but it says money talks, bullshit walks. So he's clearly not feeling um, what the 49ers are putting down. Now, I would say there's you can give him the benefit of the doubt had not everything we've seen before this happened, right? We have the likes he had, the tweet he had. So clearly he's upset with them. So meaning I would say, you know, who knows about this? We need more information. This seems pretty locked down now because of all the things that he said and how upset he's been. And, you know, I, I just don't know what the situation is here. I just, I don't necessarily understand what the frustration is. Money's a big deal. I get it. But the Niners were so close last year. You really feel like they, you know, all they had to do was just put together one more offensive drive and they would have been okay. Uh, and I just don't see it. I, I don't see why, you know, there's Brandon Ayuk wants out. I don't see where the frustration is necessarily coming from when, you know, you played so well last year. Um, you know, I really, I, I think they could get something done, but there seems to be something deeper here. You know, it's, because we said it right after. We said, look, we're not a news channel that likes to promote, you know, BS stuff. We don't like to make up stories and put, you know, take the words of certain players out of context. But we did feel, you know, watching that, interview that he did at the end of the Super Bowl, you know, when he's near his locker and he's really upset, we did feel like, hey, this isn't giving us kind of like the Brandon Ayuk, you know, he's back with the 49ers, he wants to play there. We didn't get that vibe. And um, that kind of rang true, right? This is all true. Because he's continually doing stuff like this. So he doesn't want to be there. And if you're the 49ers, you only have so long with this core that you're building, right? And you know you have a championship core in the sense You've been to the Super Bowl already twice. You made the NFC Championship game the year prior. Uh, and in that game, you really feel like if your quarterback was healthy, you would have been fine. So you have a core. What, you know, if you can get trades, trade assets for Brandon Ayuk and bring in some younger receivers, you know, trade up in the draft or something like that, you know, to a team that needs a receiver and pick one of the young receivers. I, I don't know exactly what you would get for him. You know, that seems to be... One of those things that's really tough to judge, especially if you're not somebody on the inside knowing what kind of trade value he would bring you. But I would look to do it. You know, if if he really doesn't want to play, you know, for the 49ers and he wants this big extension and the Niners aren't willing to do it, then, you know, make the trade. But I, I'll also say there was this kind of stuff with Bosa early in the year last year, and they figured that out. So a lot of these things end up working themselves out, too. And, you know, and I understand, look, players want their money. It's it. You know, it's the business. It's the business of the game. You know, the the teams are trying to get them in as favorable of a contract as they, you know, for them. And the players are trying to get as favorable as of a contract as they can get. And both sides have to negotiate that. So it'll be interesting to see how this all works out. But the only thing we know, we know for sure is that he's not happy. Brandon Ayuk is clearly not happy with what's going on with the 49ers. So thank you all for watching, and we will see you next.